these people. For where there is envy and strife and self-seeking, there is malice. I'd urge everybody to read James. I mean, I'm, I'm just, you know, James is one of the backbones in the Bible, just like Romans 8, we are to live in the truth. And Romans 8 is one of the backbones as well. But we need to be the salt. You know, when you hear the truth, it will pierce through, like in Hebrews 4.12, it will cut through all the joints and marrows. It's a double-edged sword. So salt first hurts, offenses must come, but when the wound starts to heal, you get stronger. Just like in John, Jesus was speaking about the wine, he's the head, or the branches, and his father is the pruner. He prunes us, and that way we can make more fruit. When we get pruned, we will make more fruit. As we are called to bringing fruit by your deeds, you will be judged. We are to have fruit in all things. We are to multiply, disciple, teach, bring the truth forth. It is sad how narrow the gate is many are listening to the doctrines of the devil wasting their time on you know pursuing and speaking evil of others that's a waste of time we are to fix our eyes on jesus only and stand in truth what jesus said that's the truth what's in the bible that's the truth when people take scriptures out of the context the meaning of the whole scripture loses power because the scripture is living water it is life the more you read your father's word the more you have life in yourself it is life if you're depressed go and read what your father has written for you to reproof he already have healed the brokenhearted. He came to heal the brokenhearted. So what is your excuse? If you do not read your father's word, you will never know the truth. The depressed will be set free. You will be delivered in Jesus' mighty name. The truth will set you free. We're living in the perilous times. And we need to be the salt of the earth. We need to speak the truth no matter what. We are not to please men. We are to please God. God is seeking who he, he will use. And if you do not obey him, he will move on to the next one. Because he's seeking. His eyes are going back and forth. Fro, as it is in Bible. He's looking for people that he can use. For his kingdom if you do not know his kingdom you better get get busy the truth will set you free our creator has created everything so beautiful you will find things if you try to understand the things of God with your own mind you will not because God's things are much higher and greater than your thinking. So, do not lean on to your own understanding. Just trust Lord. Trust God with all your heart. Trust God. Seek Him diligently in all your things and issues of life that the devil is throwing at you. Seek Him. Bless your enemies. Bless those that persecute you. As they don't know the truth. A servant is no greater than the master. If you don't know who you are in Christ, you better get busy. You better get busy.
Well, the weather is changing here. It's getting more cold. We're heading towards fall. I don't like it. I want to have summer. Summer. It was such a short summer. People, we need to be ready season in, season out. We need to be ready and not like, you have to have the scriptures inside of you. You have to live in the word because there's a lot of people that needs to hear the truth. You have to be ready. When God sends you people, you have to be ready. You have to have the living waters in your belly. You have to have those flowing rivers of water in your belly. You have to know God. You have to have a relationship with Jesus. Get to know Him. Talk to Him. Spend time with Him. Be the salt in the world. We see how everything is upside down. Good is evil and evil is good. It's in Isaiah 520. Look it up. There's a lot of wolves that keeps twisting the word. There's a lot of so-called pastors that twist the word for their fornication to justify it. Sodom and Gomorrah was real and now it's getting, Jesus said that it's going to get even worse than in Sodom and Gomorrah. In the last days, we're living in the last days. That started 2,000 years ago, but now Jesus told us to look for the signs. We'll see the signs. Everything is upside down. Traditions of men. Doctrines of the devil. I urge you to read James. And then you go and read 1, 2, 3 John. You'll see what's going on. You'll see. Oh my goodness, not you. I almost drove over a bird. I didn't. Praise the Lord. There's brakes on the car, you know. There is brakes. Oh boy. I pray that you will see that your eyes will be opened in Jesus' name and you will see the truth and the truth will set you free. I bless you. I bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Have a blessed day and stand in the truth. I urge you to read James and 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John. In Jesus' name, amen.